the completion of the construction of Motate Tavete Road, a section of the multinational Arusha Holili Tavete Motate Voy Road, is a key achievement the government has implemented in facilitating growth and development for the empowerment of the Kenyan Monainchi, as well as facilitating trade between Kenya and the neighboring countries. The project started in May 2018. The contract period is uh, three years, that is 36 months. It's also required that this project achieves the aim of uh, ensuring that the section which has been to gravel standard for many years between Voy and Taveta is upgraded to become standard. The road is jointly funded by the African Development Bank and by the government of Kenya at a cost of 8.4 billion shillings. In Kenya, we, if you take the transport sector, in addition to this project, we have the Arusha Holili Tibeta uh, project, which is connecting these this two Kenya and Tanzania. We have the Isvania Kisi Ahero road, which again creates another linkage uh, on the western side for, from Kenya to Tanzania. We are dueling the Mombasa Mariakani road, which is a major gateway f out of Mombasa into the rest of the uh, Eastern and Central Africa. We're doing the Nairobi Outer Ring Road, which again is uh, going to be a major thoroughway allowing traffic coming from Tika and uh, the uh, Muthaiga and Gigiri and all that area going to the airport doesn't need to come to town anymore. Kenya has always been a strong uh, partner of the African Development Bank. We've been able to be a development partner, a trusted, development partner to Kenya and I think that has helped both of us go a long way and will see us go even further in the years to come. We shall um, turn in a, a public-private partnership where we are going to get contractors to build roads and maintain them for a period and then hand over them back to, to us. So there's a lot of commitment. We have a board that is very committed in his, his work as you are aware board members and drawn from various professional institutions that have a relationship with road making and therefore the co commitment is beyond reproach. The road has seen a major boost to trade and tourism in the region and after five decades with no tarmac road in the region, the government of Kenya through the Kenya National Highway Authority Kenha in 2013 embarked on the upgrading of the 90 kilometer Motate Taveta Road. His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, together with a former President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Jakaya Kikwete, jointly launched the construction of this new road corridor that connects Kenya and Tanzania at the Motate Holili border point in October 2014. <laughs> Sote tunanufaika nayo, lakini barabara hiki kamilika. Safari yu itakuwa fupi sana, itachukua mwene muda usiozidi saa mbili na nusu. Tuna shaka ya kwamba miradi hii yote ikitimizika. We will have the opportunity to create a great market, a great region that can compete effectively with other regions in the world. One singular market of over 200 million people. Wanainchi wako tiyari kufanya biyashara. Watu hitaji sisi tu kama serikali. Tuweze kuwasaidia. Kwa kuraisisha. Njia zao za kufanya hiyo biyashara. In under three years, what was once a nightmare for drivers has been developed into an international truck road that is already positively impacting area residents as well as providing an alternative passage between Kenya and Tanzania, thus promoting bilateral trade between these two neighboring countries. This road is classified as A23. So it's an international trunk road linking us with uh, Tanzania. Taita Taveta County is home to over 250,000 people. Their major economic activities include tourism, farming, horticulture, mining, and trade.
The construction of this road has significantly eased the movement of people and goods, especially agricultural produce, from Taveta and outlying areas, mainly on the Kenyan side, neighboring the Kilimanjaro Mountains, to regional markets both in Kenya and Tanzania. Barabara imetusaidia katika njia nyingi. Tumeanza kuona hata magari ambayo yalikuwa ipiti hapa. Pia biashara imekuwa mzuri. Kwa sababu za hii maintenance ya magari yetu nimekuwa iko chini. Magari hayaribiki kwa sababu ya barabara haina portals iko sawa. Pia kule usafiri kutembea kwenda Taveta, kwenda Moshi the road passes through the Savo West National Park, the largest wildlife reserve in Kenya, and is also a gateway to Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. There are numerous community wildlife sanctuaries along this corridor, including Lumo and Taita, and many ranches that host additional wildlife and are major tourist attractions. Significant tourist sites along the corridor are the Sarova Taita Hills Game Lodge and the Sarova Salt Lake Game Lodge. The Sarova Salt Lake is especially synonymous with its beautiful cottage like hotel rooms that offer a touch of the rich culture of the people of the coastal region. The adjacent Sarova Taita Game Lodge is a manifestation of class, luxury, and serenity. Management of these hotels allowed the project, saying that the road has not only helped increase the number of tourists visiting the hotels, but also helped hoteliers in the region significantly reduce the cost of doing business. The road, which uh, goes all the way to Tanzania, northern Tanzania, is a big, big uh, boost to tourism in this region. It's definitely going to be a game changer in terms of uh, tourist visitation. And uh, even corporates coming for team building and conferences. But surprising enough is uh, guests coming from northern Tanzania, which is basically Moshi Arusha. And uh, now that the road runs all the way to Holili, connects with the Moshi Road, most of the guests will come here, stay for two nights. I, I've also talked to the two operators, and this has cut down their uh, costs. And as we talk now, I'm just going to close into Tanzania. Uh, we are trying to address the border issues and the security so that now we have a free flow of guests coming from Tanzania to Kenya to Mombasa and back. So uh, it is because of the road that uh, this is happening. As anticipated, the road has boosted development along the corridor with various organizations having already pitched tent. While previously old dusty buildings dotted the area along the corridor, the face of Taita Taveta County is quickly changing. And now, modern structures that include residential homes, hotels, and other commercial facilities have come up. When you talk about now the towns that are within the corridor, they have benefited from the fact that the, most of the employment was coming from there, even on the construction materials that was used. They were able to be employed for purpose of delivering the same. When it comes now to the overall businesses and commercial businesses within the corridor, you, you go to, to, to Mwatate today, it's a very vibrant uh, town, Bura as well, because of the fact that now uh, moving goods and services is, is very, very easy. And there are many people now who have uh, has come now to that area to settle in the areas like Mokitao and all the way even Taveta itself. The multinational road has improved and supported economic development programs, deepened economic cooperation and provided development stimuli for Taita Taveta County as a whole, fostered regional integration between Kenya and her neighbors, enhanced transboundary tourism, cross-border trade and promoted competitiveness and economic support to the locals through the reduction of transportation costs. We expect free movement of trend on these commodities from one country to another and also for exports from Tanzania, from Burundi, from Rwanda. We are expecting goods to come through this road to Mombasa port. And therefore, uh, in fact, in terms of distance from Mombasa to already to Arusha to Moshi, 
is uh, shorter from Dar es Salaam to through the interland of, of, of uh, Tanzania to Mosh. So this will be a pref Mombasa will be a preferred port. And this road is very key to that kind of uh, transportation. Mineral explorations in Taita Taveta County will be key to the economic growth of the region and a means of generating revenue for the county and the national government. The newly constructed road has also improved access and safety in schools, health facilities, business centers, places of worship such as mosques and churches. The major works done on the road include the construction of the Taveta Bypass, minor realignments to avoid rail road interfaces, construction of drainage systems and 10 box culverts. The reason to why we did the realignment is because we didn't want level crossing. As you know, level crossing can be very dangerous because uh, sometimes uh, vehicles can uh, pass uh, through without uh, suspecting that there is a train that is actually cruising all through and that can cause major accidents. Due to the wildlife animals along the corridor, conservationists raised safety concerns fearing that the road will affect local wildlife. To ensure their safety and avoid human wildlife conflict, the Kenya National Highways Authority put in place various safety features including two migratory corridors for wild animals proper signages to show the animals crossing corridors, speed limits of 50 and 70 kilometers per hour during the day and night consecutively, and four elephant grids have also been constructed along the stretch of the road. What happens is once the elephant gets to the, the elephant grid, that disturbance because there are some rollers. Once it sits on the rollers, it feels uncomfortable and therefore it doesn't get out of the park. Parts of the road that are complete are well fitted with road furniture. Guardrails, edge markers are already erected and the road marking for center line also in place as the road is already in use. Kenha, through the contractor, has also ensured several water pans were installed to ensure sustenance for the communities neighboring the road, as well as for domestic and other animals along the corridor. For sure, the construction of Voi Motate Taveta Road Corridor is set to achieve a major economic impact within the Taita Taveta County and beyond. investments from local people and also from uh, visitors who are coming to invest in Taveta. Kwa ujumla kaji wa mwatate hapa uto wa fraia, la pili pia mina fraia pia kwa kazi yangu kupanuka. Na nauzea wa tuma ndugu zangu ujirani hapa Tanzania, wengi wanapitia barabara hii. So kama vile kitambo, na kisa hii kumekua kazi mimariki. There's a lot of excitement because uh, now people can access uh, markets. You don't have to sell your farm produce here, you can sell to Congo Air. As per now, na shukuru kwa sababu, tunaenda service to service. I want to specifically mention and thank Kenha for the outstanding work they've done in collaborating with us and uh, I can say with full assurance that 100% of the proceeds has gone towards this project. I would like to tell Kenya that let's look at what governments, the governments have done, the various governments, and give due credit where it is.